Welcome. Six of you remain. Three on Team Peck and three on Team Nunez. Chris and Oliver are each relying on you to get a win for their team. And this week, we're testing accuracy. Accuracy is basically making sure that every precise teeny tiny detail is exactly where it needs to be. For this flash challenge, you must build an enormous image by stacking hundreds of bricks. You must place colored concrete bricks, one on top of the next, using their colors to bring a massive 10 foot by 10 foot image to life. I could probably have a heart attack on this thing. Accuracy is crucial. One misplaced brick can distort your entire image. If you misplace one brick on the bottom of your design and realize it when you're in the middle, there's no taking those bricks out. You are screwed. To lighten your load, you must work in pairs. Nikki, you won the last elimination tattoo, so you get to assign the pairs. This is the first time you can pair any two artists regardless of the team. Look out for yourself and be strategic. I've been on fire, and I cannot afford to let that stop now. I need to have my own back, but I can also look out for my girls. Artists, one by one, please read the number on the bottom of your skull to determine who you will be working with. Two. Two. This was one of the smartest decisions Nikki has made. If I win this thing with her, I'm not going to be able to shoot at the girls. It's going to be a royal rumble. Three. One. I don't trust Nikki, but I know Nikki. I must be with Nate Beavers today. One. Three. Oh, Nikki. If you had just put a girl on every team, you would be guaranteed a girl would win the skull pick. OK, those are the pairs. The winners of the Flash Challenge will have the power to assign all human canvases in the elimination tattoo. And you have six hours to show your accuracy by building a massive brick wall. And your time begins now. All right, Nikki. Man, what are your ideas? This is not something that any of these artists ever do. Stacking these bricks is going to be a tough test of accuracy. You basically have to create a large pixelated item out of different colored bricks. We need to fill the entire thing. I thought about a uh, chip. This is not only creating art, but it's actually putting a level of manual labor into the game. This is going to be fun. I was thinking of like maybe like a candle or something. Like if we did black in the background. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. Great. What the hell are we going to do, dude? We're not dealing with organic shapes, and we can't make curves that easily. Honestly, maybe like a really traditional large piece, like a Sacred Heart. This could work. OK. A Sacred Heart could be really cool. Right? Simple to do, too. Yep. Four more hours. Tap those out, and I can continue that line. If anybody needs a score pick, it's definitely me and Nate. We've been the underdogs, and I work hard. It's not a black thing. It's not a gay thing. One blue, one white. I do my best to present good work, regardless of what I had to overcome to get here. Getting hot out here. How does Nate manage to sit for every challenge? Three hours to go, guys. Three hours. I'm getting bruises all over. Uh-oh, what are they doing? Look at what those little bastards are doing. Oh, damn it. Of all the images in the world, we're both doing Sacred Hearts. And that's the team I did not want to win. Well. It's good for me if they win, so. The only thing I'm counting on is that their green thorns look all up and weird. Now it's just going to be whose sacred heart is better. I knew I should have spread all of us bitches apart. I uh, know, you dumb up. Who knows, maybe the girls would do better than both of us. What the are they making? Look at me. Do I look like the type of person that excels at manual labor. 
My hands are tender and doughy. Do you ever just fail at something and you're like, this is fine? I think I just got on. I definitely just got on. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Time is up. Bricks down, no more masonry. Damn. Bust her asses with that one. Yeah, we did. Oh. Nate and Kevin, of course I underestimated them. It's too bad they copied us. If Nate and Kevin get the skull pick, they're definitely gonna come after me. Me and Gian need to win this. All right, Kelly and Ryan, what was your idea here? It's a candle. As far as recognition of boom, that is a candle. It was kind of a blank. It definitely looked a lot different in my mind. Honestly, ladies, once you come up with creative design, then it's just brick by number. You gotta come up with something a lot more interesting and a lot more dynamic. You fall pretty short. We failed all over the place. Nikki and Gian have to win to ensure that the girls get a skull pick. Nikki and Gian. The accuracy on this shows in the recognizability. From a mile away, you can tell exactly what it is. You can read what the lettering is. I like the fact that you use the natural brick to break up your actual color so it wasn't so rainbow bright. The white in the center of the flame gives that little three-dimensional shape. You could have done some of that with all the black outline. Would have been a cool touch. Nate and Kevin. You are the only team that used all six colors. The recessed, pushed out bricks for the thorns really look cool. Definitely gives it something extra. Accuracy, you hit it out of the park. You have matching areas all the way throughout. Everything symmetrical. I love the highlights in the heart, the shape of the flame, and most of all, I like the rays emanating out. That took a lot of careful consideration, a lot of careful planning, accuracy. You did a great job. Your heart against their heart. Nate and Kevin is the one that stands out strong. Do you even need to go deliberate? No. We have a pretty clear-cut winner today. Yeah. We have never not had a deliberation for a flash challenge. I don't think it's ever been this clear-cut. The judges have decided the winners of today's flash challenge. Hey, this is Oliver Peck. Be sure to subscribe to Spike's YouTube for more Ink Master videos.